Again, this one stands on to Criddler Gaming. Today we've had a bit of fun with what's called an NFT. Now, I'm sure you know all about it, but for those that don't, it's part of the crypto world and it stands for non fungible token. So you can Google what that actually means, but um, what it is really is, is pretty pictures, profile pictures, animations, something that you can actually own and I think more importantly, and the reason of that is to trade, and most of them do it to make money. So we're not actually out to make money today, but we're going to show you what we've done on um, a few of our NFTs, and there's a big release for one of the ones we've bought coming up later today, so I'm trying to capture that and uh, see if we get lucky, and uh, maybe we might make a quid or two. We'll have a look. Before you start, really, this, you, you have to be an adult to buy NFTs, etc. You need a proper bank account, you need to be, you know, have your financials checked and your passport you know, verified and all that lot. But once you've got it in, you uh, what you need to do is create a wallet. And we've got a wallet through the MetaMask app on our telephone. And on the MetaMask app, it lets us uh, log in. What we've done is we've bought one of these things called a Smart Beast. So on the Smart Beast, we'll go down here, and I'll show you bits and bobs about it earlier. But as you can see, there are no actual images they're just all blanked out and you can see they've got prices here 0 0.22 0 0.23 you know, 0 0.24 um, so what we've done is we've bought one of these and it might be a legendary it might be a load of rubbish it might be a good picture it might be a bad picture it might be a picture that everyone likes apart from you it might be a picture you like and nobody else likes you know the aim is then that you can keep this picture as your sort of profile thing but there's a big release today and it you know it's like um, on FIFA when you, you, you spend 100,000 coins on a pack and you hope to get Ronaldo. Um, you, know, you spend 0.2 ether on a picture and if it turns out to be legendary then it could be worth 1 ether, 10 ether, who knows. But the whole point is that the whole collection gets popular and this look, you know, it looks pretty much the best collection around that hasn't been released yet. Um, and so the more popular the collection gets, um, the more crypto that people will pay for that that image so our beast at the moment is nice and new to buy the beast to say it costs you 0 0.2 and that's the price at the moment 0 0.2 so not a lot's really happened there are a few people and i don't understand why that are actually selling their beast at slightly less there's none on there at the moment which is good um there are a few giveaways and people win them in raffles and also the worst thing the scammers there's plenty of scammers out there if you ever do get into the nft space and somebody messages you with a deal that's good be too good to be true do not take it, do not give them your details, do not send them anything for nothing. Go on, it's just like being on Save the World here. Don't give anyone anything for nothing. You know, they can promise you the world, it's probably not going to be true. There's grown adults that have sent 10 of these things to people because they think they're going to get a better NFT somewhere else. And guess what? They've ended up with nothing. Apart from a load of paperwork to report the scammer, which, to be fair, not a lot seems to happen. But it's a shame, but just don't send them to anyone for nothing, please. Now I've been told if you buy two of these, you get what's called a mutant beast. As long as there's two in your same wallet, um, then you can get a free NFT. And that free NFT would be worth something. So it's definitely best in this collection to buy an even amount. There's also something called a VIP card. And if you get one of the beasts, there's 2,000 of them, I think. It says at the top here, 2,000 items. If you get a beast with a number in the first 1,000, then you're given an extra VIP card. So I'm going to make sure I get one that's in the first 1,000 as well. That might cost me a bit more money i think when i've looked down i've gone all the way it's down to like 0.35 to find one of those but you do get something else for your money so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to hoover up a load of these and i'm going to see how many i can afford and uh, show you my wallet a little bit after so it's hard to show you the trade because there's so much personal detail that's going on but i've managed to find one so this uh monkey or smart beast as we say if we look down here and go down and you can see the the details of the monkey you can see the token ID is 952, so this will give us a VIP card, which a snapshot has just been taken. So we are registered for a VIP card. Now, unfortunately, this monkey cost me a lot more than the others. It was 0 0.35. And one good thing about the crypto is you can see every price that anyone's ever paid for anything. It's very open, and you have to drill down a couple of times you can see. So I bought that one for 0.35. I bought another one just here on the top right for 0.195, so it's a little bit cheaper than it's worth. Now, again, I don't intend to sell any of these unless the price starts to go a bit crazy. We're just doing it for a bit of fun at the moment. We've got a few of the beasts now, so I've managed to buy eight, um, minted a few, so there are 
exactly 0.2 in cost. As long as they're not listed or you're showing that you're selling, which I'm not, so you're called a, a paper hand if you're just in it for a couple of days and just want to make a quick flip, a couple of quid. Um, if you want to stick with it, then you're called a diamond hand. And I think I might, they even call you a whale if you have a few. I don't know how many you need to be a whale. I mean, I'm called a whale for a lot of other reasons, but, you know, we've got a few here. So we've got eight beasts. We're hoping one of them will be legendary. If they are legendary, that then it'll have a lot higher price than all the rest. I do not know how much that would be, but it could be considerably more because if it's, let's say, 20 legendaries and 2,000 beasts, that's 100 times rarer, so there is that there. And while I was scanning along, I also bought one which doesn't seem so popular, but it was, uh, you know, same sort of ilk. You can see our little kitty here. So we've got a bored cat origin. So we shall see. You know, that's something completely different. There's, there's no reveal on that anything yet. So that was just something that I've spotted. But the other great thing is that Victoria, my daughter, has been creating her own NFTs. So we've been creating our curious crypto cats. So, they're based around a template, and like all of these sort of collections, they're slightly adapted. Now, we've drawn all ours by hand, a lot of people use computers, so I've got a nice little uh, sort of personality and sort of, um, sort of you know, the handcrafted nature of them all. So, we've no idea how much to charge for them or anything like that, but we will sort of start putting them on. We reckon we're going to get a hundred of them. We've got Alien Cat here, that's the number 20. Page down here. We've got a Pres Politician Cat. Emo cat, spring cat, glam cat, sick cat, wild cat, presidential cat, um, punk cat, leafy cat, cutie cat, witch cat, jester cat, nerd cat, queen cat, fancy cat, rainbow cat, curious chef, I need to put cat in there, uh, party cat, baseball buddy, and there's a few old ones that we bought ages ago, we've got an, an ape, it's not one of the really... Yeah. Some of the NFTs, the Board Ape Yacht Club Ape NFTs, they're worth two hundred thousand pounds, three hundred thousand dollars each. Um, it's ten thousand. Them. Imagine creating that collection. That is a heck of a lot of money. Um, so we've got a cheap one. It's sort of like a not a knockoff, but it's a different collection which has got a monkey in it, but a draw monkey similar. Um, in fact, that might actually be worth more than I paid for it these days. So I paid. 0.066 for it and what's the floor at the moment so the floor is the lowest price 0.12 so that's doubled in price in a couple of weeks that's quite good unfortunately it's not off a scale lots but yeah I was on holiday and around the beach and stuff and that's why we started researching them Sorry if the editing is really bad on this, I just need to make sure there's no personal stuff out there because the scammers can just destroy you. They can take everything and you just don't get anything back. So there's quite a few pennies in this uh, wallet at the moment. So we're Criddler. <laughs> Why not? Um, that's my fancy name, OXDCC2, but it's a massive number, so it's not showing it all off. Um, we've got our cats. We've got gaming cats on. So we've got prices on some of them, but um, we will need to sort of adjust it to, to make sure they're right. We've got our eight smart beasts. So what I'm going to do next is when the smart beast reveal is, um, I'll record that. I might be happy. I might be sad. I might not know. <laughs> I don't know how you know if it's a legendary or not. I'm guessing it says. Because if you click on it here, you've got like a details tab. So look, price is at the top. It's all about price and money, but we're, we're not too worried about that. So if you go to details here down here. You know, there's not much going on, but when we li when we create our own NFTs, if I go to one of ours, so if you look at our glam cat, when we go down here, you see we've got properties on ours. So maybe this is where I'll find out if it's legendary or not. You can see the background, you know, the colour of the cat, etc. Levels. It's number sixteen of one hundred. Yeah, we have been having a bit of fun. So please be careful on the market. There's a lot of horrible people around, but it is like a, a, a gaming, you know, sort of way, but it is, does involve a lot of, of real money. And every time you make a transaction on the crypto world, you have to pay something called gas, which again is like $20 every time. So it can be quite an expensive hobby, but if you buy the right thing and it does fly or go to the moon, as I like to say, then you can make a lot of money luck. You know. So we just want to get lucky, see if we can get a legendary beast, and then if, if we do, then... Uh, 
we'll see what sort of price it is. So next stages we'll reveal that. Um, then there is um, some technology where you can see your beast in 3D. So I'm going to download that and see if we can have a look. So we'll have eight, so it would be nice to see which ones are, are better than others. And we might sell a couple and let you know how we get on with that. So this is just a general NFT video for people who are completely new to it. You know, put a comment down below and we'll happily help. If you're a scammer, don't, because I'm not going to reply. But um, please, you know, um, be careful. And it, it, we, have, we have enjoyed scouring all of the things. And <laughs> some of the things are worth a lot of money for absolutely nothing. And it's amazing what, is, what takes off and what doesn't. So I'm just going into the rankings now. So the Board Ape Yacht Club, that is the one. So if we click on here, we can see the cheapest is 88 Ethereum. And that's like three thousand dollars each. It works in dollars. I know we're in pounds here, but cheapest one. So this, it's fine. These are on auction at the start. It's eighty-eight. This is an eighty-eight one. Look at the price: two hundred and thirty-nine thousand dollars for that picture. Everyone says, "Why if you just print screen it?" I suppose, you know, I suppose you could copy a bit of Casso if you really wanted to, but that's the original thing, and it's all about owning the original, you know, item. Two hundred thirty-nine thousand dollars. Someone probably played. £500 for that a couple of years ago. So, good return on investment. But if we look at the other rankings, like CryptoPunks, yeah, I suppose anyone could really create these. If you look at the actual sort of imagery on it, so they're, they're quite basic. There's no prices on these, though. So. Just click on one. Price history. Right, has that one actually sold? 17 ether, blimey, that's like $50,000 for that. <laughs> that's, that's like 10 grand a pixel. <laughs> but fair play to the people who have developed it and the people who bought them cheap, you know, that's what it's all about. So we're trying to get in early, we're trying to get a nice set of NFTs um, to have a decent sized wallet. So, um, so what I do, I think as I'll upload this video, it's just a basic NFT uh, introduction. And then when we do the reveal on our Smart Beast, we'll put that on another video. So uh, thanks so much for watching. I say the reveal is in about 24 hours' time, so we'll get another video up um, you know, over this weekend. So um, you know, if you do delve into NFTs, enjoy it. That's what it's all about. But do not spend more than you can afford. Number one rule in any form of trading. So uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.